guys welcome back to another blender tutorial today i'm going to show you the beginners way of animating table animation in blender this is going to be for all the beginners and as a beginner you have to able to animate something like this before you can move to complex art. so i'm urge everybody who is a beginner in blender animation what this tutorial to end i'm going to show you step by step how you can achieve this in blender so let's begin. First, I'm going to divide the scene into two here, this part, and I'm going to choose here to be a movie clip. I have a rounded version of this animation plane here. So I'm going to load that one as a reference. So now the video has been loaded, and you can see this is the exact animation plane over here. So I'll give you the scene first class, the reference, and you can use this to do your practice. I would put this one on my camera page. So let's begin. I'll go to the first frame and you can see this much exact this one. I'm going to select this character here, the table, and I'm going to press Alt plus G or S to reset everything. And I'm going to delete everything. I want to start from fresh, so we are going to do what we have done, we are going to do it again, using that one as our reference. So now when I play the animation, you can see nothing is happening for our scene. And this is the video reference we are going to use. I have a time code here you can use to determine which frame you are going to animate. First, let me explain the rig you are going to use here. The rig we have this that we call the master. This is the master bone. We used to move this table anywhere you want but i will not touch the master bone during the animation we are going to use only this this is move stretch that means we will use this one for only moving to any position you want and we can use it for stretch and squash and this one is called for rotate we can use this one for only rotation but we can rotate it anywhere and we have this tail tail one and this detail also we used to animate the tail as well first thing we are going to do since we don't have any animation here i'm going to press a to select everything and press i to set key make sure on your key here you go and choose location rotation and scale for so everything we do it will insert key for it here i want to animate to the character jump into the bucket so I'll end my time, my keyframe on frame 90. This is the frame 1 we have. I've also added these three cylinders here. This is where the, car, uh, the table is going to jump on. So let's see where our character is going to be jumped. So on frame 1, it has here. So let's move on to another frame. You can see on frame 15, it squash and start to jump. It jump from frame 16 on good. So I'm going to select this only. The move square stretch and press I to insert key. That means from frame 1 to frame 15, it won't move or nothing will go happen. So let's move on to where the character jump and land. So you can see it's land on frame 26. So let's move our table here to this cylinder. I, I put this cylinder on here so that you can use that one as a reference. So let's use auto key so that anytime we move our character, it will automatically insert key. Let's go to another frame. Here, you move to where the character starts to jump. That means on frame 41, on frame 42, it jump. So on frame 41, you will do insert another key for the move stretch boom. Let's go to where it jump and land. So you can see it land on frame 53. So we move it to frame here to this. And it will automatically insert key because of your using auto key. Let's move on to another frame where it's jump. So let's insert key on here. Now it jump inside to the bucket here. So let's end on frame 90. So let's move it to the to the bucket. 
done. So now we have that with our remove animation. So when I turn into our, our reference, you can see it match our reference. So this is the basic ones we need for now. Now let's go to the apples. So you can see here a jump to frame 20 we are going to move it in between these two cylinders we are going to move it up so on frame 20 let's move it up now since on frame 26 it's on ground so here it will move and land on that Let's go to another here where it's on here and then let's move it up. Here it will still land on frame 53. Let's go here and jump again. Let's move it to jump. Now, when you preview the animation, you can see it doing this jump animation. With our move stretch bone select, let's go to here, the bone data. Let's calculate for motion path. So here we can see how the cutter was jumping. If you see the height was very small, you can just increase the jump by moving up. And also here, we can move it up small. And also here, we can also move it up. Now, we have done with the moving the location path. Let's go to the squash and stretch. You can see the cutter starts from squashing from frame 12, frame 11. So you can see it starts from frame 10. From frame 10, press I to insert key for the squash and move to frame 15. And it end the squash on frame 15. So press S and scale it on Y axis. Now you can see the cutter squash and here the stretch. Now down here you have to insert another key on here on frame 25. And then here you we'll have our squash. So press S and scale it on Y axis. So we we'll have something like this. Let's go here and have our another squash before it jumps. The squash starts from frame 36. So I'm going to insert king on frame 36. We move on to frame 41 before it starts jumping. Press S and let's scale it on Y axis again. And here it will stretch to meet the frame 47. On here it squash on A, so press S and let's scale it on Y axis. So it squash on the ground again. So here press S, let's scale it on Y axis and squash it. Now on here, it's come back to its original. So press Alt plus S, reset the scale. And then our final squash here. You can see here it starts squashing. So press S and scale it on Y axis again. Here, press Alt plus X, scale it, reset the scale. Now let's preview the animation and see what we have.
Now we are done with the move stretch move. Let's move on to the rotate. So let's select the rotate bone. And we have keyframe on frame one for the rotate. So our reference, the rotation here, nothing is rotating. So let's move on to start to so let's insert king on frame 15 and then on up post on up post here have our nice rotation on this axis on x axis now it starts moving down here and on here the rotation reset you press alt plus r to reset the rotation So you have something like this. Now on here before it jump it said king. Here you have our rotation. So to start to rotate down. It's rotated. Let's add this again. So it reset its rotation. So press or pass out to reset the rotation. Okay, before it jump, let's insert key. And let's move it. And rotate it here. So on here we have to do this rotation and here it's supposed to be inside the bucket so i'll move it on this side so we have this nice curve so now let's preview what we have so i'm going to select this and change this one color so that you can see what we are animating So let's preview. Now we see we have this nice loop. Shift select this tail one and tail two, tail three, tail four, and this is the last tail. Go to here, make sure your transform you choose individual. So if you choose another, any other transform, you are able to have this nice scale shape. So make sure you choose individual okay, so when you rotate it will rotate individually and you have this nice so on frame one let's see how this guy has been rotated tail and rotated like that and insert key so let's move on yeah on frame 13 it's move up and on here on frame 19 it's move down like this Now on frame 24, you move it up also. And now when it lands on the ground, it is supposed to be down this. And let's move it up. And here before it jump, you need to have this rotation. And since it, if you do to rotate this one down be good so at this angle is good let's shift select all this one and rotate that one part and remove this like this once get it down like this so we'll get this shape we have there let's select all of them again and do rotate it down so in here i'm going to rotate it again Let's move on to here and 
this on top i'm going to select all of them hot plus s hot plus r to reset the rotation and i'll move it upward and here i'll move it down and i'll select the top tail one and move it up move it down small like that to make sure it don't intersect with the ground so it jumped to move up move it up select this select it down small. and shift select all the other bone here i'll move it down small here i'm going to rotate them Rotate it up so it go inside the bucket. And here I will do rotate. So here you can see it from the camera view. So let's preview and see what we have. 